everyone, it's your friend Thick Noodles, and welcome to Fan Choice Friday, where I play games chosen by you, and today we are playing The Stanley Parable, which, as you can see on screen right now, has been requested for a very, very long time, probably since I first started Fan Choice Friday, and <laughs> look at my mouse, it like, it goes inside the computer, inside the computer, inside the computer, inside the computer, uh, look at these, that's cool, okay, uh, before we start the game, I want to remind you to leave your suggestion in the comments below so I can have something to play next week. And uh, let's begin the game. The end is never the end, is never the... Oh. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'll be quiet. Cute. Stanley worked for a company quiet. in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly this job. And Stanley was happy. Why? Why was he and happy? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Uh, that's me! That's me! Oh. <sighs> I have such a hard time being quiet when there's a narrator. Like, I wanted to talk so much. Like, why is the guy happy? I mean, all he does is press buttons all day. Uh, okay. What is this? Um, I don't know. Something about Monday. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, let's go out here. Let's see if there's any. People. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh. Did I? I don't think I did. Uh, so I think we're... Oh, is that the memo? Hmm. No matter how hard oh. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Does that say who farted? <laughs> nice! I like employee number 433. That's, that's, that's comical. Um, okay. Look at everybody's desks. I mean, this place is run down. Uh, I... What is it? I like... I just hate- I like work, I just hate my boss. Oh, that probably got you big points with the boss. Uh... Okay. Alright, let's find the meeting room. Um... Okay. Can I- Oh, what's on this computer? Username, access! Oh, that, that. These are old computers, too. Okay, um... Need an upgrade here. I hate Mondays. Great! Okay, I like the mugs, they're cute. Everybody's got a little sense of humor. Where is everyone? Is this, wait a second. Is this the walking dead and I'm the only guy left and it's all zombies and they're protected? No, it's not. Uh, Stanley came oh, to a set okay. of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. What if I don't want to? Wait, oh, you get to choose actually. Hmm, do I listen? You know what? It's the first choice I get. I'll listen, okay? All right. Uh, hey, who did? I didn't. Ah, I did not do that. I Somebody closed the door behind me. So there is somebody here. They locked. Is that the bosses? Ooh, that's a bright screen. Um. Whoa, uh, you can't really see outside. It's nuclear explosion out there. Yet there was not a single <laughs> person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside of you, take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers, and resent coworkers. Using slides to assure that everything is okay. <laughs> Wait, let's look at these. What is hot? Profits, profits, profits. Target demographic. The stock market is somewhere here. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things. But with money to buy more. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. We need reviews. <laughs> Work harder, hard worker. Okay. Space between the teenage. Okay. I don't, I don't. I. I Synergize core value expenditure is all buzzwords. Okay. Rate at which charts on the same slide to pick the same information. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Okay. So I don't think, is there anything in here? Uh, who moved my desk? <laughs> uh, whoa. That is um, right. Okay. So we'll just keep going. Uh, nobody here. This is the only way. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, hey. Oh, oh okay. I did. I did mean to open that. Oh, there's a broom. Stanley in stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. I don't Wait a second. Uh, are you trying to distract me here? There's a broom in the broom closet. Are, are you trying to tell me? Wait. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty <laughs> broom closet. No reason to still be here. <laughs> Well, what if I like it in here? You know what? I'm gonna close the door and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna enjoy myself for a minute. It was baffling that Stanley was still just <laughs> sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Look, look, I'm meditating. Okay, I'm enjoying myself. What a what a jerk this guy are is. You, are you really still in the broom closet? No, I'm not. Standing around doing nothing? No, I'm... Uh, okay, me. just cut Can it out. Offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I told you I was enjoying my medit... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nope. I did not. Oh, well, that door's locked. Maybe I did. Hold on. Oh, now this is... This looks spooky. What's back here? What's what's this? Uh, okay. No, I'm going. I definitely. Uh, okay. Whose car is this? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <gasps> why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is I'm all dreaming. a dream. I'm dreaming. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently oh, float above the what? ground. Did, then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Woo! Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why what? is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me 
thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Okay, this and is getting... And he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley <laughs> is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press really? of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Boring? Everything mm. will be fine. I am okay. Uh, I don't think I am. Uh... Okay, that was... Stanley began screaming. Ah! Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. Help. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be... Can I must be real. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Ah, it's because I went downstairs? Went black. Is this because I went downstairs? I'll go back up. Just let me get over to the stairs. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although Wait. she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy Dead. people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Did I die? The end is never the- wait, I, I think I died. No. Actually, yes, <laughs> I died. Okay, don't go downstairs, I got it, okay? Okay, let <laughs> all of his co-workers were gone. What right. could it mean? Okay. Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Got it. All right, I'll I'll do this. I'll do this. <laughs> that was like the longest. When you Stanley made the wrong choice a set ever. Of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Mm hmm. I did, in fact. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he'd come to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, it's not on that floor. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, this is my boss's office? It's super nice. Wow. Dude, this guy. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk 
guarded the terrible truth that his mm. boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad, right. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. <laughs> Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. The what? <gasps> Whoa! Uh, wow. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. What's this all about here? We've got a. Okay. We got some construction lights. Uh, okay. Careful. I don't want to die again like this fast. I want to actually figure out a little bit about what's. I don't know if I want to go that way. What about. What's this way? Uh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. It's really dark here. Okay, maybe I am supposed to... Okay, let's walk up to this. Uh, okay. But this is just going to take me where I was before. I have a feeling that I'm going to die again. I'll have to listen to the guy for like 10 minutes telling me that I've died. And I was running around in circles in that bottom part, remember? That was crazy. Uh... Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Uh, why are there no lights? Huh? Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's just a light. Okay. I was complaining about no lights, and then I see a light, and then I'm afraid of it. Good job. Um, Stanley walked straight ahead oh. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not going there. Oh, is there nowhere else to go? But uh, no. Let, 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 let's 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 do something else. Why don't we? Why don't we? Oh no, I can't. I. Ah. That's not a place you should go, like ever. Is there? Uh. uh yeah. <laughs> yep. Although yeah. Although this passageway had the word "escape" written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Ah. Okay. All right. I got it. I got it. I got but it. Of okay. Course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Right. Uh, well, at least it warned me this time. Uh, okay, there's nobody here, so nobody can control my mind. Uh, wait. Oh. The lights rose on an enormous okay. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did oh. this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah, yeah, he did. Go for it, Stanley. Wow, this is cool. All right. Uh, okay. Now the what? monsters jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee mm. in the building, Stanley's Whoa. co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Crazy. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Wow. But there's nobody in any of them now, so... Uh, men's restroom? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Uh... That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I think so. I think that's the case. I was wondering why he would be happy. No. No. Nope. What do you mean no? To believe it. Oh, okay. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It right. was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Unfathomable. Was it even possible? It's Had not. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Could be. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. 
happy or sad mm. or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, mind controls idle, awaiting input. All right, let's destroy this thing. Um, aha. System power. Oh, this is easy. Well. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. But wait a minute. Is this guy trying to trick me? I don't know what to do. You know what? You know what? Stanley was happy. Right? He was happy. Why don't we... We make him happy. I don't. Should I listen to the narrator? I mean, he sounds so commanding. Uh, 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 no, he has to live with the truth. It's like the Matrix. You know, you want to go back because everything was nice and you can have like. But no, you need the reality. Her. Uh. Uh. Oh gosh. Should should I not have listened? Uh, where am I? Blackness there. and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. What? He had won. He I... had defeated the machine. I did it! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. All I had to do was press the off button. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he yes. realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Woohoo! Yeah! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the oh. feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path. Freedom! This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yes! Unless... Yay! Yeah, beat the game! <laughs> <laughs> well, all I had to do was listen. Uh, <laughs> but I know that there are a lot more choices that you can make in the game and things will change for each one. Obviously, I went downstairs. I died. <laughs> Turned into a crazy person and fell on the sidewalk and things like that. There's lots of different choices and a lot of different things you can do in the game and different endings and all of that stuff. But I think that's a good one, guys. Stanley was happy. That makes me happy, and I hope it makes you happy as well, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fan Choice Friday. If you did, please do go ahead and pick up those chopsticks and poke that like button as hard as you can. Also, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, want to become a noodler today and subscribe. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, noodle line.